do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Cali's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Cali's world. Hello, friends. Guess what? I have the coolest news. Well, I guess it would be the warmest news, but that doesn't really sound as good. Anyway, I have some awesome news! For Christmas this year, my family is going to... Drum roll, please! <laughs> we are going to the beach! It's a tropical Christmas for Kelly. I'm so excited! Where I live, friends, it is cold during Christmas time. <laughs> What's the weather like at Christmas where you live? I'm packing my bag for the trip, and I think I have everything I need. Do you want to check it out? Okay! First, I have a beach ball. Right now it's not blown up. I'll blow it up when I get there. Then, my family can play all sorts of beach ball games. Like Rock'em Sock'em Beach Dodgeball, Volleyball, or try to hold the beach ball under the water for a really long time before it goes pow and shoots up into the air. But it's so fun! Second, I have my goggles so I can see all the little fishies in the water. I'll see the orange ones, the green ones, the blue ones, the skinny ones, and the big blowfish ones. Third, I pack the shovel in a bucket so that I can make the greatest, most Cali-tastic sandcastle ever. It will have sky-high sand walls, towers, and even a moat. That's where the water goes around the castle to protect it. See, friends? Everything is packed, and everything has a reason for being packed. This is going to be amazing! Cali, don't forget your sunscreen. Um, okay, Dad. Sure thing. Hmm, sunscreen? You can't hit it around like a beach ball. It just falls on the ground. I can't put sunscreen on goggles. Sunscreen doesn't make good castles. It's too gloopy and gloppy. Hmm, I wonder. If I'm going to pack this sunscreen, it has to have a reason. I'm gonna keep wondering while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of John, chapter one. John one talks about someone called the Word. It says the Word was there at the very beginning of everything, with God. And it says that the Word actually is God, a light that shines into dark places, like a flashlight. You see, the Word is Jesus. Jesus was there at the beginning of everything. Jesus was there before anything was made. Jesus was with God and is God. Jesus is a light that shines like a flashlight into dark places. There was a guy named John the Baptist. God gave John a very special job. That job was to tell everyone that Jesus was coming and to get people ready to meet him. And that's what John did. He let everyone know that Jesus was going to be the savior the world had been waiting for. Sadly, not everyone believed that, but everyone who did believe in Jesus were welcomed into God's family, like being God's own kids. John told the people that things had changed because of Jesus' coming. Before people could be with God by obeying what God said to Moses. That was still good, but now people could be with God by believing in Jesus. That was the reason God sent Jesus, so people could be closer with God than ever before, by believing in Jesus. God wants nothing more than to be close to you. That's why Jesus came. John 1 reminds us that God sent Jesus for a reason. God who made the clouds, the sun, the whole world, including the beach, wants to be close to us. That's the reason God sent Jesus. 
Speaking of the sun, just like God sent Jesus for a reason, my dad told me to pack this sunscreen for a reason. The reason is to protect my skin. When I put on this sunscreen, it gives me the superpower of not getting sunburned. Getting sunburned is no fun. And it would mean I couldn't stay at the beach for very long. But if I put it on, then I can stay at the beach for hours. Just like when we believe in Jesus, we can be with God forever. I'm so glad that God sent Jesus for a reason. We can be with God wherever we are. Have you spent time with God today? You totally should. Let's do it together. Repeat after me. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Amen. God sent Jesus for a reason. Thank you for learning and growing with me. See you next time.